I hope you are having a wonderful day. Um, I just kind of wanted to make a video about my favorite plants and then kind of going to my favorite nursery and then just kind of, you know, a little bit about me along the way. So, um, I kind of have just a couple of my favorites. Well, I don't want to say favorites because I have a lot. <laughs> Plant addiction is real. <laughs> Here I have, let's see if you can see it. I have my Pilea. I love her so much. So I call some of my plants he or she or her or him. I don't know why. Not that there's anything in particular, but some of them I just feel like are a little bit more feminine. But um, I really like her. I was kind of looking around for one for a while and it's kind of, it can be hard to find them. I know for a while it was really hard to find them and then now you can kind of get them anywhere. I even saw them one time at Trader Joe's. I saw one and I was like, oh, I really want her. But I really don't have room. So, but, so keep your eye out at Trader Joe's because you can find some really good things. And it's hard too because at Trader Joe's, like, everything's listed like foliage or, um, I'm trying to think what else, greenery or things like that. And it's like, well, that's not really helpful because they each kind of are, um, unique and sometimes have their own preferences about how they're cared for. But this is my Pilea. Sorry, I didn't mean to go on a long talk about that. Um, this guy right here, I don't know if you can see, um, is a Hoya, I believe is how you say it. I was just looking on his little thing. Um, I found him. I didn't, I wasn't like particularly looking for him. I just was at the nursery and I was like, I want something kind of droopy. I have this area over here. I can show you where he lives. And then I found him. He's really cool. His leaves are kind of thicker, kind of like a rubber plant. Um, so I really like him. And then I have my prayer plant. Um, I went to this one store the other day. Let me see if I can kind of bring that in. Went to the store the other day and they were kind of, he was just kind of placed together because it looks like what I kind of think what happened was they did some maybe propagations and he's just kind of put together from that. But he has um, kind of some pink on him and some of them don't have that, but I really like that. And note, prayer plants are supposed to be kind of floppy or droopy. Some plants, you know, you don't necessarily want to get a floppy or droopy, but... That's kind of their normal, but I love my prayer plant so much and we're about to have a new leaf, which is so exciting always. Um, and then I kind of figured I would talk about some care for the plants in general. And I, I guess I should say first, I am in no means like, <laughs> like an expert on these. This is just kind of one of my favorite little passions and, um, these are some things that I've kind of learned through growing them, like through having different plants, but I'm sure that I'll probably be wrong about a few things, but this is kind of things I do to make sure they don't die because I used to kill all my plants. And then, I mean, I kind of found out that I was overwatering essentially. So one day I just kind of let some plants hang out because I was like, whatever, they're going to die anyways. And then they like thrived. <laughs> so that's usually the most common issue, but anyways. And then this guy, I don't know if you can see him. He is one of my favorites. He lives in one of my bathrooms. Um, he's super, super cool. They call it like an elephant plant because it kind of looks like, if you can see like elephant ears, like an elephant coming at you. That's how I think of it anyways. I'm gonna kind of take you on a little trip around my house and kind of show you my favorite, favorite other things. So first, I think I need to say, because I saw these, sorry. First, I think I need to say, I saw these all the time on like Instagram or Pinterest and you know, there's always those fails, but I really wanted to do it. And I was trying to look on Amazon for like those hanging pots. And I know maybe it's, everybody's done it. But to me, I was kind of like, oh, I don't know. Um, and on Amazon, they were like 30, 40 bucks. And I'm like, dang, I don't really want to spend that for 
just a little project. But I went to Target and they have like their spring stuff in and they have really cute little plants and little pots. And so I saw some hanging pots and of course I grabbed them all because they were $3 each. I mean, that is awesome. So let me show you kind of my most recent little project right above my dog bed for my dog. So, so these are pathos and I think it said joy on them. They're kind of cool because they don't really feel like a normal pathos to me. Um, they're kind of, and they're, you know, they have white on them. They're variegated, but, um, they feel kind of thicker, but they're super cool. And I thought that it would be kind of a nice ch touch and the home is where the lab is. I got that on Etsy if any of you guys want, um, the link, let me know, but this is my dog bed. Excuse her little toy mess, but, um, absolutely love, love this. I don't know if you guys have this problem, but I can never, I can never find pots that totally <laughs> fit my plants. Like they're either too big, too small. So sometimes I'll just let the little lip of the thing hang out. Um, I don't like to actually plant my plants into their pots because I find that I can't tell if they're draining well enough. And when I water them, I like to, it to get like a full flush through, you know just to make sure that that whole root ball gets wet. And, um, you know, I think that, I think the plant lady at one of my favorite nurseries, she told me that it also helps like flush out, I think salts or something like that. So that are in the water. But let me show you this little guy. Um, I didn't really know where to place him, but then I was looking online um, reading about care for these plants and they like kind of more sun. Tail palm see if you can see that ponytail palm he's pretty cute he just kind of hangs I mean like I said I can't get I can never find flipping pots that work but he's kind of fun he just looks kind of different I have another pathos so um, she has grown so much I got her in October and she has just exploded Got her in October and it just, I kind of wanted a little droopy area for right here and she she's grown wonderfully. So the one thing I read about a couple months ago, which I didn't know about pathos, which I guess duh, it makes sense, but <laughs> you want to untangle them every once in a while because they kind of grow all into each other and they get really tangled. And then I untangled her one day and bam, <laughs> She was like way longer. And I think she's grown much more since then too. So I have, I think it's called a pink flamingo. Um, and let's see here. Here she is. She is so beautiful. Let's see if we can get her in focus. She's so pretty. And she just gave me a new little, a new little friend here. I love these things. I honestly, I thought that like they were kind of a they didn't last long or they just bloomed and then they didn't bloom ever again but she's she's keep keeps on blooming so i adore her she's really cute oh um i have some more plants over here and i don't know all their names i'm see i'm not an expert guys <laughs> but i do love plants so here i have she is a peperomia. I do know, peperomia, pepperon, yeah, peperomia. At first I thought I was saying that wrong. She's variegated, she's super cool. I really like her. Um, I got her at Trader Joe's, so good find. Um, and at my local nursery a couple months ago, or actually not a couple months, a couple weeks ago, they had these little clovers and I honestly didn't think I'd like them as much as I do. So my favorites, one of my favorites. And I have no idea what it is. <laughs> I have tried like a, um, there's like an app where you can take a photo of your plant and it will kind of tell you what it is. And I don't know, but I will tell you, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. If you guys know what she is, please let me know. I mean, oh my, so beautiful. It just, I like the shape, I like the shape a lot. 
Um, so, yeah, if you know. And then just another clover. And then I'm not totally sure what exactly this little guy is. I know it's probably some kind of, and I'm going to butcher it, Anya or Trikent, Kansi. I don't know how you say it. But um, she's cool. She's just, she's just there. I ordered off Amazon because I could not find them really anywhere. Um, and I kind of wanted to do an experiment, kind of a little experiment here. Um, this guy is um, going to be a Monstera, or is not going to be, uh, the split leaf Monstera. So um, when she gets bigger, her leaves will kind of split and be that really pretty, pretty split leaf plant. Though no splits yet, but I'm hopeful, praying that we will have some splits because it's just so pretty, but I got her off Amazon. So it's kind of like a, we will see. This snake plant here, which I absolutely love. I love, 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 love. Um, super cute super fun and what's kind of cool is that like during different parts of the day or different things like i'll notice that the leaves kind of move and it's kind of the same thing with the clovers i didn't expect that i would love them so much but when they close at night it's just so cool so cool kind of reminds you that they're living little things <laughs> um let's see here and then down here is a box that I got, a little crepe box that you put together. Let's see here, if it's gonna focus. That I got from um, uh, Ikea. And then I just kind of started throwing in some Trader Joe's finds. I'm gonna be honest, you guys, probably get a little bit neglected. Um, just cause they're by the front door and this window so they get kind of the drafts, but I'm kind of thinking, and correct me if I'm wrong, that this right here is a Chinese evergreen. Um, initially, I thought that it was a, I don't know, something else, but that's, that's what I've kind of come to the conclusion. Super, super variegated. Was not that much when I got her. Um, and then here we have another, I'm going to butcher it. I should just Google it. Dracania, Dracensia, Dracania. And then also my uh, heart leaf, Philodendria. But yeah, like I said, they probably do get a little neglected. I just kind of thought it was cute to have some plants here by the window, but they probably do get a little, a little chilly <laughs> with that draft. But I live in Arizona, so, um, in, in Scottsdale, so it doesn't get cold. I was like, at first I was gonna say Arizona, and then I'm like, wait a minute, but there's some places up north that do get cold, so I live in Scottsdale. So usually our coldest day in the winter is like 55. <laughs> um, but our summers get hot, so. Okay. And then I'm gonna take you over here to my peace lily. I love my peace lily. Unfortunately, she just lost her little white thing. And I was reading online that they don't really ever come back um, unless, cause there's some, some kind of hormone or chemical that they give them at the nurseries that give them that little thing. And I don't know if I wanna call it a flower or whichever, but um, she's right here. She's so pretty. Um, I really like her. She has a lot of greenery and she's super cool too because she will tell you when she wants water. This is like my love, love, love. And I wanted one forever. So when I found one, I had, I had to get her. I had to. This is my fiddle leaf tree. Fiddle leaf fig tree. I absolutely adore him. He is super, super cute. And I feel like he makes the room just look so much better. Um, they are very finicky though, and it took me a while <laughs> to figure out how he liked to live. So, yeah. He just adds so much beauty to the room. I love him to death. I do have another fiddle. <laughs> um, and then I have this little guy over here, and I cannot for the life of me remember what he is called. But he's super cool, and I can also tell when he's thirsty because his leaves move. But... Um, He's cool. He's just this little guy. Bye.
here's my other fiddle leaf fig and it's in my guest bathroom so sorry it just has we have it has this um what do you call it like the dome light or the natural light and he has been so happy so when i was at home depot and i saw they had like a little fiddle for 30 something dollars i was like heck yes but he did look like he needed some tlc for sure um so his bottom leaves still kind of look like mm. but since he's been here he's had two leaves which i'm like yes but okay let me show you him okay here he is so we've had since i've had him and it's been about ooh, a month and a half no maybe about a month he has had this leaf and that one and that little thing right there see if it will focus um that little brown thing thing is what the leaves come out of so the bottom leaves are just kind of meh. but he looks so so good and then behind me here um i have a zz plant zzz whatever um, he's just kind of cool. He just hangs out. I like his leaves, <laughs> but they're pretty cool. They just add so much greenery and I like how they grow. All right, so I have the last couple of plants to show and they're in my bedroom. Please bear with me. It's messy because it is laundry day and <laughs> so everything is all apart. But here we have another pathos who we are currently working on getting him to grow and come down because I just think that's so beautiful. I got the hanging planter at Target. I have a little polka dot plant and I really, really love her. She's really cute. She um, just adds a little, a little life. I got my glasses on and we are gonna go off to the nursery. All right guys, so we are here. This is my favorite nursery. They have a wonderful, outdoor area and indoor area like a greenhouse um, so I'll just show you some things Okay, here we go to the greenhouse. actually the next day so kind of what happened was I got there and I went in the little greenhouse and the lady that I frequently talk to when I'm there was just like oh you're coming in today and I'm like yeah <laughs> and she's like we love when you come you come every week and I'm like yeah and um, she just was kind of telling me her life story <laughs> And then while I was there, I actually got a text from my husband that he was coming home from his hunting trip. So, so yeah, so a lot kind of happened. So I just got a little bit of footage, but not a whole lot. My camera was di died, so, but I did get one plant. So I'll show you what plant I got. Um, but it was, it was really, really fun. Um, a couple of care tips I just wanted to throw in. Um, quite simple ones, so don't overwater. Sometimes we just want to love and love and love our plants, and it's, it's too much love sometimes. Um, so when you're going, the best thing to do, what I do, is um, testing the soil. So stick your finger about an inch, inch and a half in, and if it 
if the soil sticks to your finger, then it's still wet, so don't water yet. And then maybe check back in a couple days. Um, I know some people like doing a watering schedule, like every Sunday they check their plants to see if they're ready to be fed um, some water, but I, I don't know. I just seem to check my plants every couple days because some of my plants, they just don't drink that much water. Like I have some plants in the bathroom and I don't know if it's probably, it probably is because of the humidity, they don't need as much water. Um, another trick you can do too with checking the water is um, getting like a wooden, is it called a doyle, dial, like a wooden stick and sticking it through the pot. And that way you can kind of see, you know, if it is dry or if there's still some water in there. So one thing that I, I don't know if I touched on it before or not, um, it's this app called Plant Snap and it is so cool. Um, so I'll, I'll show you that because I did get one plant yesterday. I got a zebra plant which I've been wanting one for a while. I mean, they're pretty common. I just was like, I don't know. And then I saw one yesterday and I was like, I think it'll look cute next to my bed. Um, and then another care tip, trimming off the little, um, you know, any kind of yellow or crispy pieces, just cutting it off with some, um, you know, gardening scissors or regular scissors. Um, just because the plant will keep sending energy and nutrients to it and it's already dead So it's gonna take away from its other leaves. I would say that's the second thing is lighting is if it wants more of a A, a lot of indoor plants don't like direct sunlight, um, but they do like indirect sunlight so just figuring out what they like and then yeah, so those are essentially the two things watering and sunlight figuring that out um, and just keeping it healthy. Another thing you can do too is um, just every once in a while, you know, misting and wiping down your leaves if they look like maybe they're a little dusty because that affects the plant's ability to absorb that sunlight. So, okay, let me show you the plant that I bought. Okay, here is the zebra plant that I got yesterday. Mabel is super interested. Mabel is <laughs> Mabel. She is a, stop, two-year-old black Labrador. So she's so cute, but she's still a little puppy in ways. So, oh yes. I'm gonna go ahead and show you this app that I was talking about. So it's called Plant Snap. Can you see that? I think it's just a couple dollars. Um, but it's super cool and super, super helpful if you have no idea what your, what plants you have and you want to know how to care for it. So what you do is you kind of go over your plant, you hit the photo and it kind of takes a photo and then you kind of adjust, you know, how big it is or how you want to show it and you say done and then it will kind of give you some results. So it's saying, is it a prayer plant? No. Is it a garden croton? No. Let's see. And then if you don't see it there, then you can kind of scroll down. Oh, see? And then, and then what's cool is you can look at the photos. So you can say, hmm, I'm not sure. And then I start looking and I'm like, oh well, yeah, that does kind of look like the plant that I have here. So, yeah, so it's pretty cool. And then we can say, yes, that is my plant. It says, oh, it's been saved to our collection. So we go to my collection, go to our zebra plant. And it kind of would, you know, kind of tell you stuff about it. But yeah, so it's just an easy app to navigate. Um, and then it kind of, you know, saves your, your plants that you have. So super, super neat. It doesn't have a whole lot of information on, you know, care tips or different things like that. Um, but if you, I feel like the biggest hurdle is just figuring out what plants you have here and then, um, you know, going from there. And I feel like if you can figure out what plants you have, then it's a quick Google, figure out what it likes. And then there you go. All right, so that concludes the end of my video. If you had a good time, please subscribe, like, 
um, or leave a comment about other videos that you'd be interested in. Um, but have a wonderful day. All right, bye guys.